Good afternoon, everybody. It's Jeffrey, Sky Top Shop. Uh, it's 5.17 in the evening. Just finishing up cleaning one of the Porsche heads up. This is uh, out of a 1960 Porsche 356. And I'd had a bunch of questions about the similarities and differences to a Volkswagen head. So first and foremost, um, you can see that the size difference is dramatic. This is a Volkswagen dual port head here. And this is the 356. Oh, the bail. This is a 356 head, and you can see there is a rather large difference just in the size of the heads themselves. And I'll go through some of the other differences as we do this video. So to start with, uh, this is the cylinder head. This is the attaching hardware. This is the valve train. Uh, some more attaching hardware in the intake manifold. So I'll go over this step by step here, some of the key differences. So on the Volkswagen, you have a stud that comes up out of the case with a machined washer on it and a nut that holds the head on. Same for the top side of the head. On the Porsche cylinder head, you have these assemblies, which are the head studs. And this goes down in this hole inside the head. There is a machined washer. There's eight of them. There's a machined washer that goes down in this hole first uh, that makes contact with the head. And then this assembly goes in and there's a sealing O-ring right here at the top. So this assembly goes in just like that and would mate against that washer that's down below it. This one is uh, similar, however, it doesn't have a boss for the rocker assembly. It would go in here, another one here. This has got another bo a locating boss for the rocker assembly. And finally, the last one here. On the top side of the head, and oh, by the way, these are all 10 millimeter hex. On the top side of the head, same thing. You have a, a machine washer that holds that on, but on the top, you've got a little 10 millimeter hex nut that will drop down in these four holes and hold the heads on. So the way that the head is held on itself is completely different. All right, now for the valve train. Um, if you've ever worked on a Volkswagen, you will know immediately this does not look anything like the valve train of a Volkswagen. A Volkswagen motor has a, a common straight bar here and the rocker arms are angled off that bar onto the valve train. This, on, uh, this is a 1600 Super. This is magnesium, actually. I thought it was aluminum, it's magnesium. And this is located on these here. And then the valve, uh, the rocker arms themselves, are all different. Uh, these outside two may look similar, but this one is actually much longer than this one. And the inside two may look similar, except this one has a little bend in the end and this one does not. Uh, I think I counted it up. There are 49 pieces in this particular valve train. Uh, the two outside shafts are vertical, or excuse me, the two outside rockers are vertical and they have springs similar to a Volkswagen. The two inside are mounted on a horizontal shaft. These, are, um, these shafts are held in by these little half moon pieces. To go on here, each one has a springy lock washer. And then this makes up the rocker arm assembly as, as a whole. And then this, as I said, you could see how that locates on the three bosses down here. And that's it. That is the valve train there. And you could see also that the valves are different heights. The outside valve 
uh, valve spring is much lower than the inside tube. Uh, and this is because the combustion chambers are hemispherical combustion chambers, much more so than a Volkswagen. Now the three bolts that would hold this on, you could see it down there, uh, down here and down here. This is what would hold um, the rocker shaft onto these. So these would screw in to the studs that hold the cylinders down. And then once these are in, then these screw into the back side of these and that's what holds the rocker shaft assembly on. So much, much different than a Volkswagen. Uh, the last significant, or I shouldn't say significant, but last uh, difference is the intake manifold. Uh, the intake manifold on the Volkswagen uh, has two studs, and this is a later model, actually has a locating pin. Uh, most, I shouldn't say most, there's a, a wide selection of these cylinder heads over the years, but some do not even have this, this pin, but all of them are only located by two bolts. Uh, the Porsche intake manifold is uh, has two bolts in the head and then one bolt that is in the intake manifold itself. So there are three bolts that hold the intake manifold onto the head. Much tighter sealing surface. And uh, great grief, look how nice and smooth those are inside. This is, uh, by the way, 100% stock, 1960, 356B, 1600 Super. Uh, all original down to the spark plugs. Two of the spark plugs that were in this uh, engine were the original uh, smooth uh, electrode plug, Bosch plugs from 1960. So in any case, there you go. I hope you enjoy the differences of the 356 912 Porsche cylinder head versus a Volkswagen dual port cylinder head. Jeffrey Deitch, Sky Top Shop. We'll talk to you later.